This UPDF ambulance is said to have been carrying the remains of the late Major General Paul Lokech, who died at his home in Chira today at around 7 a.m. And this is his home in Chira, where Major General Lokech met his death in the morning. Silence and people donned in black as a sign of mourning kept trickling into the highly guarded home at the top of the hill. The media was not allowed access to the residence. One of the officers manning security here said to be a relative of the deceased almost lost his cool and had refused Lokechi's driver to park the UPDF car inside the deceased's residence. According to the UPDF spokesperson Brigadier Flavia Biekwaso, the general now known as a lion of Mogadishu fell off a chair and fractured his leg recently. However, it's not clear where he fell from. So he was not complaining of anything until this morning when he entered into the bathroom, actually preparing to go and again attend to the leg. He called his wife and said, I feel I'm losing breath. The wife ran very fast to him. He sat him down. They called in another person. I think it was a, still a medical pers person. They tried to, 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 resuscitate, to resuscitate him, but it failed. So he passed on while in the bathroom. Has he been having any history of any ailment, uh, maybe something health-wise that he has been struggling with for over time? For the time I've known Major Joe Paul Lokech, I've never had. I don't know perhaps whether the family has something else, but me personally, I had never had a general, Major General Paul Lokech sick. I've always had him working. Major General Lokech has been instrumental in fighting criminality in the city and had asked for leave before his death. What gap does he leave in the force? I think it's a huge, huge, huge gap. Major General Paul Lokech has, is a, has been a commander, he's been a staff officer. From his profile, you can see that he's, he, he, he commanded in Somalia twice. He's been, he commanded in second division. He was in Air Force as a chief of staff. He was a commandant of URDCC in Jinja. He's now been a deputy IGP. You've seen, I think, I, I, I think the, the work he's been doing is evident. I've heard the president earlier trying to say that, uh, way in the past way, he was saying that uh, the soldiers, especially the generals and others, should always take good care of themselves and also ensure that um, they are checked, do thorough checks oftenly. Is that something that uh, the UPDF maybe you'd want to have in place so that um, your generals and other officers are always periodically checked to ensure that uh, they are healthy and fine? Yes, that is something, uh, that is something we'd actually, after the president, and even before the president stated so, we have arrangement with Nakasero Hospital and other hospitals where we go, especially us who have reached our 50s. We usually go and do, well, I don't know, they call it body count, whatever it is. So that is that, that uh, facility is there. And actually, like you're saying, yes, we need to do it regularly. But who was located in the army? Many of the people would want to be commanders. If, I don't know how best I can describe that word. But once they say that, yes, that guy is a commander. So that was Major, Ge Major General Paul Lokech. At the home, we asked Major General Paul Lokech's daughter identified as Mary for a comment about her father. But the development clearly had not sunk in. Speaking on behalf of Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja described the late Lokech as a loyal servant of Uganda. He has been a genuine a truthful and a hard-working officer. We have really made a big loss. For her part, Kitgumuman MP Lilia Naba, also a close family friend, was among the last people from outside to speak to the former police chief, having talked to him last night at around 10.55 p.m. She said that although he was feeling tired, he was also full of life. He has been a man of the people. He loved the people. He loved humanity. He laid down his life on many occasions to save humanity. The country has lost a great personality. Kitgum Municipality MP Dennis Onekalit Amere also had this to say. It is saddening really that we have lost a gallant son, a gallant citizen of this country, a person that this country will miss, a person that East Africa and Africa as a whole will miss because of the service he has done in this country. As the people of Acholi, as an area member of parliament in one of the constituencies in Acholi Kitgum municipality, we have been talking a lot and asking ourselves 
Why? The question of why. It has been tough. It's not clear when the journalists will be accorded access to the residence of the late Major General Paul Lokech. And we've been informed by the UPDS spokesperson that the barrier arrangements will come later after the send-off of Lieutenant General Pekos Kutesa, who died on Wednesday and will be buried tomorrow. Sidi Yarhanga, NTV, Chira.